Hello guys and welcome to my summer project use it up update for the month of July. What a wonderful So I am super excited to show you guys the progress that I've made on my three body care combos that I put into the project last month when we started in June. If you didn't see the intro, I'll link it up above. But yeah, I have three little combos that I've got going right now and I'm really loving them. Like I'm loving all the scents. So I've got a little bit of my thoughts on some of them because some of the scents are newer or new to me. And then I am going to be introing two new items to the project just because I'm really close to finishing up a couple things. So let's just get started. So of course I have to start with my Beach Nights little body care combo and I'm loving it so much you guys. I'm loving every single scent in here so let's go through it. First I have Beach Nights in the Fine Fragrance Mist. Now I didn't use it up too much. I am using it but I'm like I'm honestly scared to finish it. I don't want to finish it but I do have some progress just from here to here. Just a little bit of progress on the mist. Now the shower gel I am almost finished with and I'm so sad. I'm like devastated that it's going to be finished but we are right here. I've gotten to the point where I need to flip it upside down in the shower or else it won't come out. So Beach Nights is just one of my absolute favorites of all time. It's so yummy. Just a wonderful gourmand with that like outdoor breeze like beach breeze. It's so yummy. The next one I have is Meet Me in Miami, the body lotion. Now we put it in the project completely unused. And as you can see, I'm about halfway on the product and I love it. I love it so much. It's the perfect scent. So the notes are breezy palm trees, cabana coladas and suntan days. And I've been loving it. It feels like I'm on vacation when I put this on because it kind of smells like a really upscale like resort or even just like an upscale, really expensive sunscreen. It just smells so good and makes me feel like in the mood to actually enjoy summer, which is hard to do uh, where I live because it's so hot. But honestly, I've just been like hiding indoors and not going outside until it's like after 8 p.m. So I've been enjoying summer so far because I'm just ignoring that it's summer. Anyways, meet me in Miami. I'm really loving it. And I'll definitely finish it before the end of the project, which ends in August. Also, I am not using the mic anymore. I don't know what happened, but it started short circuiting on me. So if I'm recording like a short form video for like TikTok or shorts, I'm gonna use the mic, but it just doesn't work for these longer videos because it'll cut out after like five or so minutes and I can't keep doing a voiceover on it every time because it just takes so much more time to edit the video if I have to correct the mic having a mistake. So I'm sorry about that. I know you guys really liked it, but it just wasn't working, so. Anyways, next I had a whipped coconut milkshake in the body cream and this one I put in the project completely unused. So actually, no, not completely unused. I think I had it in the summer project last year because it was here and then down to here last month and then now we're right here. So I really want to focus on my body creams this month because the other one I have in the project I'm also super close to finishing. So I'm going to try to focus on body creams this month, which is a little bit hard because it's so hot outside I don't really want to use them but I'm going to try and focus on them to get them finished up so that way I can feel really motivated. I'm actually gonna put a little on my hands right now because they're kind of dry. The notes are vanilla ice cream, toasted coconut, and sugared amber. And you guys, it is so yummy. That ice cream note is so good. Speaking of ice cream, did you guys go smell that Stranger Things collection in stores? By the time I got to my store on Saturday, uh, after the collection launched. The only ones that were left were the pizza one and the coffee one. So I didn't get to sniff the vanilla ice cream one. So let me know if you liked Steve's Steve's ice cream scoops or something. I think is what it was called. Let me know if you sniffed it and I wanna hear if it was good. And the last little body care item that was in this combo is Ariana Grande's Moonlight perfume. Now this one it was supposed to have that like airy kind of scent note that I was hoping would go well with Beach Nights. Honestly, it doesn't really go well with Beach Nights. Um, it does still smell good, but it is kind of more floral than I would usually go for. So it's not my favorite just because it is very floral forward. Um, I'm still going to use it, still going to get some progress. I've only used it like twice though in the last month. So I'll try and focus on this next month. And the next combo is super simple. It's just fresh coconut and cotton. I have it in the mist, the body cream, and then I've got a little mini perfume that I've been using. So for fresh coconut and cotton, this has actually been a really nice one for when I'm heading outdoors and I know I'm going to be super hot and I'm not looking for a gourmand. This one is nice and fresh. It really is like a fresh laundry scent, but with like coconut mixed in. 
it's super nice. Um, the progress on it has not been a lot. You guys know I go through mist really slowly. So only got a little bit of progress in the last month. I'm still working on it. I definitely love it. I'm really liking it. It's a nice mix up from my typical gourmands. So I'm really liking it, but not getting a ton of progress on it. Now for the body cream, I am getting a ton of progress. You can see this window is actually see-through. So you can kind of see where the line is at. I'm pretty much down to here on the body cream. And when I put it in the project, we were up here. So definitely making progress, not as much as whipped coconut milkshake because I'm loving that one a little more. But I think once I finish that one, I will definitely gravitate towards this. It's just nice and fresh and honestly a really nice scent to fall asleep to too. Makes me feel really sophisticated. So there's that. And for the perfume that I've been using with it, I have Replica's Lazy Sunday Morning. Okay, this one definitely has been triggering my asthma. So that's not fun. I can only wear this sometimes. And if I'm wearing it, I'm wearing it like on the back of my knees. So it's not near my nose and my face. So yeah, definitely not my favorite. I can see why people would like it. If I didn't have asthma, that wouldn't be a problem. I would really like this, but yeah, it's just a little too, too much for me. Now I saved the best combo for last. This is my beachy vanilla scent combo. And I'm obsessed okay obsessed is an understatement so i've been using up this pacifica island vanilla body wash like it's water i've been using it so much in the shower it's awesome honestly the pump is really what's selling it for me i need to put pumps on my bath and body works um body washes too because it's so easy to use in the shower i love it the scent is super basic vanilla it's really not anything amazing it's still yummy but yeah the scent is nothing to write home about it just smells like vanilla sugar the lather the lather is really good and we started off the project it was all the way up here and now we're all the way down here i'm almost finished with it so i am putting in a body wash to replace it once i finish it but this one has been so good also in the shower i have the diana's vanilla bean goat milk whipped body scrub and i've been going pretty pretty hard on this one too so we started off the project, it was up here, and now I'm pretty much done here. I think I have maybe one more use left. It's like sputtering out now, so it's very close to being finished, and I expect to have it done next month. And yeah, I'm enjoying it, I like it. I don't think it's like a great summer scent, um, just cause it's a really simple vanilla. I would have preferred like a coconut scent, but still enjoying it and finishing it off. So the body lotion that I had in this scent combo is Wild Madagascar Vanilla, which I picked up at this year's semi-annual sale and i have to say i'm not loving it it's super jasmine heavy okay the notes are wild madagascar accord african pear and wild jasmine so it doesn't actually say anything about vanilla in here i guess madagascar accord is supposed to be the vanilla but it's very very jasmine heavy it's very floral and the floral scent lasts a long time on my skin so it's not my favorite scent i thought this would be really good for like nighttime but i'm honestly not a fan. I've still been getting good progress on it though. So we went from here to here since the last update. So still getting progress on it. I definitely expect to try to finish this off, but I definitely won't be trying it again. I loved this one in like middle school, but I'm a little more particular about my scents now that I'm older. So yeah, not my favorite one. It's still a good scent. If you like Jasmine a lot, you would love this, but I'm more of like a Jasmine mixed with vanilla kind of girl. And this is just a little too floral forward for me. Okay, I'm about to put you guys on this wonderful scent combo. These two combined have been so yummy, I'm obsessed. So we have Sol de Janeiro's Brazilian Crush 62. This one, I've been getting a ton of progress on. Obviously it's wonderful. So I'm almost finished, we're down to here. I'm probably gonna finish it in the next month. And I've been using it with Pacifica's Island Vanilla Perfume. And I've gotten some great progress on this perfume. Usually it takes me a long time to use up perfumes, but I've already made quite the dent in it and it's only been a month. So this is a fluid ounce perfume, but these two together are so yummy. This Island Vanilla is super, super sugary. It's almost like you just did like a cinnamon sugar, like donut, crust okay and then you mix in the pistachio and salted caramel and it's delectable okay the two are so perfect together it's like a pistachio donut with cinnamon sugar coating it's so yummy so if you have not yet tried this pacifica island vanilla perfume you need to go try it i think they have this in stores at target you could probably try a tester it smells really good it's not the longest lasting but 
You guys know the Sol de Janeiro sprays are super long lasting. So them combined, it's so yummy. It doesn't last for a ton of time, but this leaves like a good lingering scent on your body. And this one just smells delicious. So I'm loving the two together. I'm definitely gonna love them more next month too and keep using them. And yeah, I'm gonna be sad to see this one go, but I'll definitely purchase like the huge full size one after I finish this. And then as promised, I'm putting in two new items. So I'm putting in Vacation Vibe from Bath & Body Works. This was a summer release this year and I got my hands on it actually this week, <laughs> this past weekend. It was $5.95 in my store and I was shocked to see that even the body scrub was $5.95. So I picked up a body wash and a scrub and I'm so excited to use them because it's supposed to be a dupe for Sol de Janeiro's 62. So first we have the body wash. Now this one's notes are whipped pistachio, sun drenched jasmine and praline amber. And I swear, even Ryan thinks that it smells like a dupe and he doesn't even use Sol de Janeiro anymore. He did use it once when I had the actual Sol de Janeiro body wash. He used it in the shower and he was like, hey, this is really good. You should get more. So he was like, wow, it does smell like it. So even my boyfriend who doesn't care that much about scents loved it. So it smells wonderful. I'm so excited to use this in the shower. I'm only gonna put it in though after I finished at least one of those body washes, but I'm so excited to try it. I heard great things. So I'm really, really happy about this one. And then same thing for the Vacation Vibe Exfoliating Glow Body Scrub. Now this one, I'm also going to wait to put in until I finish off my Dionys Goat's Milk Body Scrub, just so I'm not like gravitating towards this one more because I feel like I will. It has the same scent notes of whipped pistachio, sun drenched jasmine and praline amber. And it's got that beautiful glow. See if you can see it like by the rim. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I have to say, I think the exfoliating glow body scrubs are one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works. They're just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this one smells even more delectable than the body wash. Just super yummy, super gourmand. I'm so excited to use this one. So putting them both in, completely unused. This one is with all the air kind of squished out. It's right about here. The body wash is pretty much right at the tippy top. So I'm super excited to start using these two and I'll let you guys know my thoughts on them next month. Okay, so that is everything for my July update on my summer Project Use It Up. Now I know I didn't have any empties to show you guys this month. That's typical kind of for me for the first month of updates, but next month I expect to have a lot of empties to show you guys and maybe introducing new stuff, we'll see. Um, so I'm going to plan on updating you guys in the middle of August and then we will close out the project at the very end of August, the last day of August, I'll close out the project and then we'll introduce the fall project use it up. I cannot believe that we're already this close to fall. Like I'm so excited you guys. I did and I am uploading a vlog after this. I did go Halloween and fall shopping. I went to Michael's, TJ Maxx and Home Goods, but honestly my TJ Maxx and Home Goods had like five items of fall. So that was super sad. Um, and my Michael's did have a little bit of Halloween, but not a ton. So I'm really looking forward to fall and Halloween decor shopping. You guys know this is, that's my favorite time of year. So I save up most of my money from spring and summer to shop then. So I will definitely be getting body care. I need to start making my list. I need Bath & Body Works to release more fall body care, please, because what they've released is not enough, okay? <laughs> I did smell pumpkin swirl cake in stores and I did kind of like it. I would probably pick up something like one thing from that line. And then the wild blueberry one was not my favorite and strawberry pound cake we've seen before. So I'm gonna need something new and interesting to entice me to go into the stores. But yeah, anyways, that is everything for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.